Hey guys, I want to do a quick little video for you. Uh, I want to share with you uh, a velocity study I did um, just recently with the North American Arms uh, 22 long rifle uh, little five shot revolver. This little revolver is really great for your deep, deep concealed carry, oh heck, uh, pocket carry. Um, shirt pocket carry, belt buckle carry, <laughs> however you really want to carry this thing, you can carry it. And uh, that's one of the nicest things about something this size. Now this particular one has the 1 and 5 8 inch barrel, uh, so it does have the longer barrel of the, of the two that um, are available in this, uh, in this model. Um, the reason why I wanted to test this was because I know that there are, this has been requested by several people on my channel, um, people that know I have one of these. They've been really wanting to know the velocities out of it. And so what I did is I put together four ammunitions. I did the Mini Mag, uh, the Stinger, the Velocitor, and the CB Short. Uh, all CCI ammunition. And what I found was actually really interesting. Uh, if, we, if we look at the results here, what we see is even though that uh, each one of these ammunitions are uh, really rated at different power levels, uh, you, we see that the CCI Mini Mag, Velocitor, and Stinger all are within one foot pound of each other out of this gun. And the reason why that is, is is because you really don't get a lot of time uh, to utilize the powder burn on this. You're talking one, you know, talking about uh, maybe a little bit of free bore space and uh, one and uh, five inch, inch uh, barrel. Not a lot of time to generate powder burn. And so most of the powder is being burned outside of the, out of the barrel, which is useless. It doesn't actually do anything for the bullet. And so, um, and so we're getting we're getting kind of a, a leveling of the playing field here. So the, really the take home, oh and also uh, the CB Short got about 16 foot pounds of energy. Now that is a, uh, a round without any powder and it's just the primer that's pushing that, uh, that 29 grain uh, solid out of there. But uh, the take home really from, from this is that if you're going to be firing or be carrying one of these um, uh, for self defense, for concealed carry, however you, you're, you're feeling, I would recommend carrying the heaviest grain bullet you can actually get, mainly because um, even though the Velocitor is going to have a lot of bark, so is the Stinger have a lot of bark. It's not going to have a lot of bite, uh, and so the heavier bullet the, in this case, the, the Velocitor is the heaviest. I, that's what I would go with, because you're still getting the same amount of energy, but you're getting it in a, in a little bit more mass, and so that mass is going to tend to penetrate uh, more. What, I want, what I've been really trying to get my hands on is some of that uh, Aguila Super Subsonic ammo, ammo. And I haven't been able to find that um, in any of my local shops. Uh, and that's a 60 grain uh, 22 long rifle. So I've really been wanting to test that out and see, see how it runs. Uh, so as soon as, I, as soon as I get my hands on some of that, uh, you know, one of these days we'll, we'll get a, uh, some testing done with it. But uh, anyway, guys, that's just a real quick nitty-gritty um, uh, study that we did here. It uh, just shows that uh, you're not getting some of the uh, benefits out of the more powerful rounds with this gun, such as the Stinger. Uh, the Velocitor, you know, um, at 46 foot-pounds of energy, it still has 40 grains of mass, and so that's what I would still stick with in a concealed carry uh, arena. But uh, anyway, your, uh, your own thoughts are definitely where uh, your choice is going to lie. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Also, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me uh, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you, what you guys think. And uh, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because uh, we're going to do more, more uh, videos like this in the future. And so if you want to get in on that, uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you'd like to uh, favorite and like, uh, do so as well because that really helps the, the video out, helps the channel grow. So, all right, guys, uh, uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.